guys, welcome back to the Tried Truth. My name is Mike. Thanks for stopping in. Um, today, I quickly want to review a, a fragrance that came out in 2019. It is a citromatic, I'm sorry, a citrus aromatic um, for men or women, but um, I'd say it leans more male. Um, Blue Sapphire, Sammy Andrus fragrances. Um, this is a killer right here, guys. This is a game-changing fragrance right here. Wow. All I can tell you, man, uh, it's one of the most uplifting, strong, too. It's a perfume concentration, so, and the longevity is great. Um, it is a inspired fragrance, inspired by Elysium by Roja, and that is uh, $400 and up. I mean, I've seen it for $400 plus. And um, the thing is, is the quality, uh, quality on this is just outstanding, absolutely outstanding. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. First off, uh, Sammy Andrus used to be, or maybe he still is, a YouTube reviewer, um, and he graduated into developing his own fragrance line, and uh, I hear a lot of good things. Um, and after getting this one for $25, um, Trust me, I'm, I'm convinced that um, it's quality. It, it's definitely quality, guys, let me tell you. Uh, Sammy Andrus fragrances uh, out of Orlando, Florida, I believe. So shipping's pretty quick. Um, you can get it on eBay. You can get it on Amazon. He has his own website, which is where I got it. And I used the code TLTGFAMILY, and I got uh, a discount. I, I'm not sure exactly how much, but uh, I also used that TLTG Family discount for... Zaharoff to get uh, I picked up a bottle of the uh, signature poor home that'll be here in a few days anyway actually tomorrow this is a um, the accords of this one are citrus aromatic fresh spicy fruity soft spicy and herbal now the Elysium is citrus aromatic woody fresh spicy amber green fruity earthy and animalic and um Unfortunately, I can't tell you that I've smelled Roja uh, Elysium. Uh, the four hundred dollar thing, you know, I, I just I don't think I could bring myself to pay that much for a fragrance. There's too much good stuff out here, guys. I'm telling you, um, I'm sure it's great, but I've heard the performance on this is even better. So I mean, you know, um, as far as presentation goes, it's it's your standard fair uh, box. It's it's kind of dark gray or black with some gold embossments, uh, a blank square. Um, mine didn't come with a box. I don't know if he was running low or what, but I I got it. It was just shipped taped inside of a shipping box. But uh, anyway, I did have to um, open this and and put the sprayer top on. So you know the, these are. I don't know. There, there's nothing outstanding as far as presentation, but what's inside, man, let me tell you. Wow. And uh, what I'd like to do is compare the notes. This one's considered a citrus aromatic. The uh, Elysium is considered an aromatic fougere. So I don't know if that matters. Um, but listen to this here. Uh, Blue Sapphire was launched in 19. Top notes are bergamot, lemon, artisma. Middle notes are uh, black currant, pink pepper, and cedar. Base notes or labdanum and leather. So, so as far as the um, Elysium, you have uh, 2017 um, Roja Dove is the developer. Uh, the top notes are grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme, uh, artisma, and and galbanum. Uh, middle notes are vetiver, juniper berries, black currant, apple, cedar, pink pepper, rose, jasmine, cypress oil, and Nagamartha. Uh, Lily of the Valley, and then the base is Ambergris, Vanilla, Benzoin, Leather, and Labdanum. Now, guys, don't beat me up in the comments about reading these notes. Who in the world could remember all of that? I mean, yeah, the basic stuff, you know, uh, the, the you know, you got your bergamot, your lime, your pink pepper, the rose, and all that. You can remember the base, but for the most part, there, there's like a lot of notes there. I mean, seriously, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Um, maybe Ash from Gen Sense could memorize that, or Justin Copeland. Not me, man. Jeremy Fragrance, probably too. 
Those guys, they're using cheat sheets, trust me. Anyway, guys, listen. All right, check this out. I've never smelled Elysium, but I probably never will, thanks to these guys right here. Um, this is so good, and I truly love it. And I got to tell you, I, I never would have known this had it, because it, no one ever told me that this kind of smells like Creed. Because um, it took took a few minutes. I, I sprayed this on my wrist the other night when it came in. Uh, it was in the mailbox. I didn't even know. Check this out. The the longevity rating for Elysium at $400 plus is only moderate. Um, and then moderate silage. Uh, and then obviously the price value. Everyone says Elysium is way overpriced. Um, and... You know, and in fact, when you look at what they say it reminds them of, the fifth one, well, the fourth one's Creed, but the fifth one is this. So, I mean, like, um, and then some people say Blue D Chanel. I don't know about that. But anyway, um, you can read the reviews yourself on Elysium. But check this out. Um, first of all, this one only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes. And it smells that good, that close, and all of that. Now, longevity, super long-lasting on this one. Uh, silage, super strong, okay? To, you know, some people say enormous. Um, and then, I mean, you're getting so much quality. Great value. I mean, obviously, this is only one ounce. But you're paying 400 for 100 ml of the Elysium. Now, I have seen it for like $2.90, but, you know, I don't know what size bottle that is. I've really never looked into it. The thing is, is it's a no-brainer because the, the quality of this stuff is so good. It really is. And um, this smells better than my Club de Nuit Intense Man from Armoff. It smells better than Mont Blanc Explorer. It smells better than Banana Republic's Black Walnut Legend. And I would say, without a doubt, it probably smells better than Elysium as well so um yeah I, I don't know what else to tell you one thing i can tell you this for 25 dollars, this is a no-brainer it, it is one ounce it's got a great atomizer so it should last quite a while I'll, I'll waste another spray um because wow wow doesn't smell overly uh, synthetic or anything the opening is really nice i mean it it's it's good, man. You know, it even has your notes listed on the back. If you can see that, I don't know. A little mushroom there. Nice touch. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But uh, anyway, like I said, you don't get a great presentation at this time. I think one day you will with, with this guy. I think he's going to go somewhere. Uh, this is just wonderful. And th there's he's got a lot of fragrances. I, I don't know how many are in his line right now, but I want to try them all. Um if they're anything like this, I, I definitely want to try them all. In fact, I'm going to have to, first thing I'm going to do is get a couple backup bottles of this because I'm definitely going to be wearing this one. Let's see what the best time to wear this one is. First of all, I would say any time because it's a, it's a Creed type of fragrance. Uh, you know, Creed Aventus, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I said that earlier. But uh, not so much winter, but you can wear it any time. It's strong enough. Spring, summer mostly, uh, and day mostly. So, but uh, I got to tell you, right off the rip, the bergamot, lemon, artisma, black currant, peak pepper. Uh, you know, even the cedar and the leather are noticeable. This is just well done. I mean, you don't have to dig around uh, for the notes. They're there. I mean, and when you read them off the chart like that, I mean, you can pick them right out. It's not even a problem. But uh, blind buy worthy, absolutely, 100%. In fact, I recommend that everybody get this. I'm not getting paid to tell you this. But if you like fragrances, you're going to love this one, trust me. Unless you just want to buy Elysium, uh, it's not even going to last as long as this. I mean, read the reviews yourself. Everybody says the same thing. This is beast mode right here. It lasts longer than what it's supposed to be like. Now, I don't look, like I said, I don't know if it's an exact clone or what, but more than anything else, this reminds me of Creed Aventus. 
more than anything else. In fact, it's everyone says it's a clone of Elysium. I think it would be better if people said it was a clone of Aventus. But again, wow, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Listen to me. Do yourself a favor. Sammy Andrus, it, it's right there. Just right there at the bottom. Google that. Go to his website and get Blue Sapphire. Start with this one, just like I did. Now I'm interested in this whole line. I, I'm, I'm going to get some sort of a sample pack or something. But wow, wow. This, this is some great stuff right here. Man, it is absolutely awesome. It's a powerhouse, trust me. The greatest cheapie in the market right here. I'm telling you, it's an ounce for 25 bucks. So let's say it was 100 ml, you'd be looking at $75. I mean, you can't beat that. For, for something this good, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's that good, guys. It's that good. And it does. 24 hours on my on my skin. I sprayed it on my wrist, went to work, came home. It, it just lasted the whole day. The next day, I could still smell it. I mean, this is just great. For, for 25 bucks, you can't beat it. All of his fragrances are like $30, okay? But like I said, use the TLTG family uh, code, and that'll get you a discount. So um, check it out. Definitely want to check this one out. It's it's super awesome, man. So just a fresh, fruity citrus burst, just um, amazing explosion through through the room. It, it this one will get you noticed. Arms length, definitely. I don't know about filling a room, but definitely will get you noticed. If you're looking for compliments, this is a compliment beast right here, definitely. And uh, it, it smells, you know, borderline masculine, kind of, you know, I don't know, youthful to masculine right in there. Anybody can pull this one off anytime, anywhere. Be careful with the sprays, I would say that, especially in the hotter weather. Uh, I would probably go easy with this one because, man, it's a perfume concentration, so it will blow your head off. This one is super strong with great longevity, excellent price value. Um, and, and, you know, even if you wore this every day um, and you went with three or four sprays, I would still think it should last you two or three months easily. Uh, I mean, you could make this a signature scent. It, it, it's worthy of it. Definitely a blind buy. Just beast mode right here, guys. Trust me.